Actually, the first gorilla that we came across was lying on her back. She'd been shot, and she was obviously pregnant. Effectivement, we found that it was a female that had been killed. We felt it was our own sister who was dead. And within 15 minutes, we discovered the body of Sinkekwe, the silverback who was the leader of this guerrilla family. He was lying on his back with his hand over his heart with a number of bullet wounds in his chest. Everybody was stunned. These people, they had lost their king. Nobody could talk to anyone else. They took leaves and bound the mouths and the wounds. It was almost as if these rangers were attempting to preserve what remained of the spirit of the animals. Then they were lifted up onto the shoulders of men and then carried for miles until they reached the ranger's base. It was as if the best of Africa, the most dignity that they could assemble in the face of tragedy was present in this procession. In all, six guerrillas had been killed that day the assailants unknown. It was clear this was no ordinary wildlife crime. These animals were not butchered for food, and they weren't killed for trophies. This was not about poaching. This is about the assassination of a family to make a statement. This was an execution.